What is up, you guys? This is your boy, Famous Kid, Video Game Entertainment, and I wanted to kind of show you guys something really quick. Shouldn't take too long. It's about the Sega CD. Now, I was sitting up in here just wrecking my brain on because I was playing some of my games I haven't played in a long time. Usually, the games I usually play, it doesn't require a saving. But in this case right here, in a lot of games that I do like to play, like what I call uh, Shining Force, it's just Shining Force is a very hard to, hard to find game. I just got it. I ordered it, and I'm just like I wanted to kind of play it, but at the same time, I couldn't. I couldn't. I the, the game wouldn't start for me. So what I had to do, I was just like I was wrecking my brain. I'm like, well, how am I gonna get this game to work or whatever? So as I was just sitting up here, just figuring out, and I was just tamping around with some stuff. So I figured that if I had that problem, I figured that you guys would probably had that problem at the same time. We had to figure this out, so I just want you guys, so you guys to get right back to gaming, right back to getting retro, and you guys to be able to play your, your favorite games from back in the day. So, so like, games like, the games like, you know, like, you know, you got Shining Force, or, or RPG games that you just have hard times that you gotta, you gotta be able to say, like, Pop Full Mill, it's, it's those, those games are definitely, you have to, you have to, you have to save it, you know, to get back, to hop back in the game after a while, or to just, you know what I'm saying, so... Uh, so what I so I learned about something. Okay, first of all, let's hop into it so I can go ahead and teach you guys how to do it so you can guys get right back to game and that's what we want to do. Okay, first turn off your system. Okay? So you turn off your system. I'm gonna go ahead and um grab my trusty controller real quick. That way we can that way I can figure this out. I'm gonna try to do this, I'm gonna try to do this all at the same time, at the same time um uh uh holding the camera, okay? Okay, you're gonna turn on you're gonna turn on your screen. Yeah. As soon as you get the thing, push A. Okay, and you're gonna get right here to this menu right here. Once you get to this menu, you're gonna push down and you're going to push A. And what it does is gonna give you it's gonna give you a menu to where you're gonna see your, your memory. And so now mines are already I already cleared mines out, so I'm pretty much as okay. And then I'm gonna show you how many games that you got saved on there and um how much memory that you have left. So you got the free memory. Press any button. Then you go right here, which I usually push A. Then you go right here and you go ahead and to me, if say for instance you had got like a used Sega CD that you had got, you know what I'm saying? Or you probably have your old Sega CD that you that you haven't played in years, but you just want to kind of get right back at it. You want to pick it back up and get the ready, get the game. So um you're gonna go up to format memory, or you can go ahead and race item or certain games that you're playing. So but me, I'm gonna I ready go to format memory. Because that way you want to start off your stuff real fresh. Because the Sega CD doesn't really hold that much. So you definitely want to just format it. I would rather if you hop in on one game, just format your memory. You know what I'm saying? Get your game done and over with. And just like, you know, just go ahead and just erase it after you get through playing a, playing a certain game. So you format, you push A. And it's gonna actually going to format everything. It's going to say erase all. And you're going to push A. Okay? Format complete. Press any button. Now. Then you want to go back to your, you want to go back to that same menu, and you're good to go. Then you're going to, you know, saying at this point in time, you're going to go back to your CD ROM because it's basically a game that you're playing, and you're good to go. You're back in the game. You know, certain games, if your memory, if your memory is like full, it will not let you even go forward to even playing the game. See what I'm saying? Sorry for the background light because I have a background light in my uh, in my dining room. So so that's why you see a little bit of light up on the screen. But yeah, some of these games that you actually have to it actually requires you to say before the game the game won't even start until that you actually free up your memory so you're back in the game and you're ready to go all right you guys just wanted to get a quick video for you guys hope you guys like it please subscribe please like and subscribe to the channel there's also more great videos up on there and i hope that i helped you guys out you know what i'm saying um any you know said leave comments below if you guys know you know i mean i've seen i've seen a couple of videos where they have um they're they're taking apart they're taking apart their uh their system and stuff like that me i'm not i don't really know how to do that and i don't want Want to, I wouldn't want to you know, mess up my system, so I just read it. And then also, there's the mega cartridge, the uh, the backup cartridge, which cost you, which cost you hundreds of dollars, and it's just like it's not even worth it. But if you just play, you know, what I'm saying to me, you free up your memory card if your battery's working. 
it's a good thing. So, you know, free up your stuff. That way you can get get to your games and get hot right back at it. You know what I'm saying? We can just keep on going retro, all right, you guys? Hey, thank you guys for watching. Just like I said, please like and subscribe to the channel one more time. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I'll holler at you guys later. All right, then, y'all. Peace.